Hello everyone, I'm Pascal, Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor. Tonight I will be trying my DV4 own. Well, I did plug it last night and play a little with it. But let me show you the DV4 mini slot in the back of the device. What you have here in the slot is actually a USB slot that you can insert a DV4 mini into it. You know, you see that and it will give you the exact length of the DV4 mini. And it's easier to put in using with the antenna uh, already at the end. So just to show, and show you and I'll explain how it works later on. Now it is booting and there's no power switch on the DV4 ohm, but I did plug uh, it on the power supply. So uh, and my power supply, I use the switch and I turn it on. So you can use the power pack that comes with it, but you can also use the your power supply switch to turn it on. So now you see this is the welcome message when it's booting. Uh, you just see sh momentarily the uh, the IP address of the device. Now it's showing the software version. And it takes a little while to boot, but not that long as you can see. So now my internet is okay. So I'm plugged actually in the Ethernet port using a wire uh, cable because the wireless driver is not uh, ready yet in the firmware. Now you just saw DV4 ohm with my call sign and my DMR ID, so it's already configured. When you boot the first time, it will show you the HTTP with your IP address with a slash user.html. If you type this in your browser, you will go directly to a setup where you can enter your DMR ID. I will enter mine and you can enter your call sign so this you only do that once when you connect you can change it if you want over time so you do okay and now it's configured with the dv4 ohm what's good is you can go and select reflector directly into the screen the screen is a screen that goes from minus 40 to plus 40 so it's very very good in whatever weather if you want to use that in your car but don't play with the menu when you are there right now there's only dcs ref and dmr that are working the other mode will come as soon as they upgrade the firmware you can see that i'm selecting right now in the dcs you know there's a, the, the 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 knob can go around forever so it's a, like a step by step to do a selection a short push on the button it will change you into the menu like I'm doing now so I'm gonna go to the port I'm gonna select the port and the longer push will do an enter so okay it was not long enough for this one hold on okay okay now I can change now I'm do the link and do the enter and you're gonna hear it Okay, now I just showed you how to do the setup with the DV4 ohm directly with the menu, but you can also go into the web interface and do the setup from there. So that's pretty easy, and uh, you can actually access it from anywhere in your home using the, the uh, web server, and you can change it. Also, I installed the DV4 Mini into the DV4 Ohm, but this is not shown in the menu. I'll tell you why. The DV4 Mini software has an option in the Expert tab to be able to find on your network any DV4 Mini that is running. The DV4 Mini, now that you can see with the address 121, is actually the DV4 Mini that has been installed into the, the uh, DV4 Ohm. So from there, you're able to actually remote control the DV4 Mini that is in the DV4 Ohm. And then you can close your computer and use it as a normal DV4 Mini standalone without any PC. So this concludes this video. So I hope you enjoy 73.